The fashion and luxury goods industry has experienced uh, enormous changes in the last two decades. It moved from uh, primarily national, family-owned, small and medium-sized firms to a global set of conglomerates that are operating everywhere else in the world across different categories from ready-to-wear to watches, jewelry, also you know, hotels. So, all over these categories, these companies compete globally and many of them are also listed on the stock market. It is probably one of the few industries where Europe is still uh, in a leading position in the world with uh, all the major conglomerates headquartered in Europe, mostly France, Switzerland and Italy. And uh, it has also been professionalized. So there are a lot more managers with uh, managerial background coming from different industries and I think it's a lot more sophisticated than it used to be. One of the most important changes has been the shift from craftsmanship and heritage as the core of the industry to fashion as a driver of value. What has changed is that now there is a lot more fashion content in what they do. So meaning that the value is not only created with the product quality but is created with the buzz that, that generated by the designers that work for them, by the collections they present in catwalks in uh, Paris, Milan, and New York, and overall by the fashion media world. Another major change has been technology. And we are still in a, in a kind of, let's say, early stages of this revolution. The last five years has chronicled an increase in the online channel and all players are integrating their real-life high-touch experience with the online channel. This is also generating a lot of opportunities for new players because you can access the consumer through the online channel more cheaply and faster and from anywhere in the world. Most other players have found out or believe that to grow, also in volume, you need to bring in more fashion content and brands need to rejuvenate. Fashion provides that rejuvenation to brands, for instance like Gucci or Louis Vuitton, that only 10, 15 years ago were perceived as old and stuffy. And young consumers that could afford that would not buy them. So now it's very different. So I believe that even Hermes, I mean, and in fact they've done many things to rejuvenate their brands.